It's really hard to live in this world and see animals as the beautiful, sentient beings that I see them as. I see them as you and me. I see them as no different. But we live in a world that sees them very differently, and they're enslaved. Maybell, it was kind of like the game of telephone, like we found out from someone who found out from someone who found out from someone. What we were told was that she's a dairy cow about to be retired. She has served that family with her milk for her whole life. Usually when dairy cows are retired, it means they're sent to slaughter. But this particular family had a really big heart, and so they actually had a family prayer circle where they prayed that they would have an option for Maybelle to go that wouldn't involve slaughtering her. And so through this crazy set of circumstances, we were able to find each other. Yeah, we're just glad to have a place where she can go uh, and just be well cared for. Thank you. Has she been in a pasture with a bull? Yeah. And so she has not had a heat cycle since you bred her? Not that we noticed. Wow. It's really hard to tell whether or not she'd be pregnant. It'd be so nice if she were and she'd be able to keep her last baby. This is what the dairy industry wants us to think how cows live, where animals get to kind of live with some sort of dignity. The dairy industry is built on the backs of mothers. In order to get breast milk from any mammal, including cows, you have to get the animal pregnant. In the dairy industry, they just want the milk. So when the baby's born, the baby's taken away for slaughter and the milk is taken for humans to drink. It's basically moms being impregnated every year and every year the baby's being taken away as the moms cry for them. The dairy industry has actually created the veal industry. And the veal industry is a way to make money on all those wasted babies. So they take the babies away from their moms when they're born. They put them in little boxes where they can't move. Uh, the muscles don't develop, so the meat remains very mushy and soft. And then at eight weeks old, those babies are slaughtered for veal. your bedroom. Let's look at it. There's your water. See, just like I told you, right? If you could ever ask for how a rescue would go easy, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> if she could be pregnant and get to keep her baby her and baby. this could apologize for her entire life. Are you able to look at her uh, from your experience and tell if she's pregnant? So based on her body condition, I'll be surprised if she was cycling and if she is pregnant. We're going to do a blood test on you, darling, okay? Oh, that's great. She didn't even flinch. If this is negative, then there is no way she's yeah. pregnant. Yeah. All right. Well, so um, we'll probably hear from you tomorrow? Uh, yep. Nice. What's going on with Maybell for the last two days? She kept crying and pacing and calling out. And at first we thought, well, you know, maybe she is missing her home. But as the days persisted, she just kept crying. And in my experience with all the cows that we've taken into the gentle barn, the only reason they ever cry like that is because they're looking for a baby. Ellie and I have been going back and forth on what to do about it. We talked to the people who connected us to this 
situation. We were told she didn't have a baby. There was no baby when we picked her up. And I said, yeah, but she's saying otherwise. She's telling me she has a baby. And I really think that we need to go back there and double check. I'm really hoping that this baby's still there. Hi, boys. Is your pa around? How are you? Good. Um, we've been having a little bit of trouble with uh, Maybell, and uh, we're wondering if that might be her baby. Yeah, we we're going. We're going to keep him. But that is her baby. Yes, it is. Oh. Um, I would guess it's, she's probably wanting to be milked. But uh, maybe he's about a year, or just under, yeah, just under nine nine months or something like that. March, April, May, ten months. She, she seems lonely. Yeah, she's incessantly screaming for her and for him, whatever I, it seems. Because I, I, you know, I have about seventy cows, and the only other time I've seen a cow do that is when the cow was missing its young. They were in adjacent pastures, so she could kind of like hear him and see him. So even though they were separated, she kind of knew that he was okay. But now, when she was taken to our place, all of a sudden she was really, really worried and anxious about him. I, I would really love to have them together. That would be really, really great. Well, yeah. The main thing I had in mind was that it might not fix your problem, but I'll just leave that with you. I know you want the cafe, and that's fine with me. Thank you. They were such lovely people. They kind of said, listen, if it'll make your family happy, you can have the baby too. Thank you. This, uh, brings joy to your family, right? It will not only bring joy to our family, but many others. Right now, Maybelle's back at the gentle barn, dripping milk, crying for her baby. Hi. What's going on? We got him. Is that, is that her baby? Yeah. You have him? Yep. That was a close one, though, because they said that they were almost going to send him off to slaughter. So, very happy to have gotten there in time. When the baby heard his mom, he started crying. And then when the mom heard the baby, she started crying. So they started mooing to each other back and forth. We're going to end mama's suffering right now. opened the trailer, he ran right to her. They walked away together and they've been inseparable since. They love their babies just like we do and they want to raise their babies just like we do. In the dairy industry, the girls hold the value because they make the milk and the boys are a byproduct that nobody wants and ultimately end up being slaughtered. So they don't see them the way that we see them. But for us, oh my God, it's a mommy and her precious baby. Yeah. And we're working really, really hard to create a world that sees them that way. Hi, I'm calling for the pregnancy test results for Maybell. She's pregnant. Something true For something